Today, I am considerably better. I was a right mess yesterday, I don't know why. <laughs> but waking up to a lovely view like this is always good for the soul. Well, plan for today, of course, I'm gonna try and cobble the video together from yesterday. I'm not really sure what I've got, to be honest. <laughs> Marie's gone to work, she'll be finishing about one o'clock. And when she's back, uh, gonna take a little look at her van because she went for the pre MOT as well, and a few things came up on hers that need looking at. So, I'm gonna try and have a look and see what the crack is there. I think a, a gearbox mount's come off or something. <laughs> this is one of them. So, I don't know, we'll have to have a look. Uh, at some point today, I'm gonna have to get on the old sticker thing because it's gone a bit mental. So, I will I'll do my best, um, try and get through it all. Again, if you if you do want a sticker, it's in the description of the video how to do it. And don't forget to put your address. There's still people are managing to not put it. So I know I've had a few messages and emails of people that have realised that. So I will get back to you. Don't worry, I'll get all that sorted. The way that I've been sort of doing it with the stickers is I'll I'll only do it once a week because then uh, it's just easier for me, you know, because wait for it all to come in and then do it all in one block and then I start the next week fresh like so I don't get all messed up with it because if I keep trying to do one here two there it's because um, we're getting quite a lot of international uh, people now so I like to just do it all in one go and then go to the post office in one go so I can do those ones and post all the other ones just makes more sense doing it that way so you know, there ain't no Amazon Prime delivery here, but don't worry, you will all get it. <laughs> We've got a new gadget, folks. Just come in the post. So, yeah, put that in the front. I never have enough bloody USBs, so these are all fast charge ones as well. So we'll go mount that somewhere. Should be a lot better. I've wanted one of them for ages. What are we doing today? <coughs> But that is tight, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Well, this is a, a bit of a bodge. Mine passes the MOT with it. That's mm. it. We might not even be able to do it, we'll just have to see. Can't wait to ruin my clothes. Oh, honey. So good. Right. Car boots soon, honey. <laughs> honey. So the load sensor valve is this thing has come off here which mine has as well but apparently it's also seized which is not so that's complete bs really yep why would they say it then i don't know maybe it's loosened up after time after putting their spray on oh yeah so wait hang on you're fat the we'll just cable tie it on for now which is not the correct way to do it but it'll last I mean, it'll work. I think it has loosened up big time now. So, that goes on there. Oh, there we go. You see it? Uh, yeah. This is what a garage actually did on mine, and it's still like this. So, rather than replacing it all for now, this is just a free fix. Huh? <laughs> I mean, this is a mega bodge, folks, but it does the job. So this load valve here controls how much brake pressure goes to the back wheels, depending on how much weight's in the van. And Marie's was disconnected, so. Oh, these are some next level cable ties, aren't they? Yeah, I'll need the. 
I'll need cutters as well in a minute, but I'll wait. Oh, it's quite a nice little shelter in there, isn't it? <laughs> you know if I was homeless, I'd sleep in the cars. Uh, probably not the smartest move. What? When they drive off in the morning without you realising. I'll just let them know. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put the sign. I'm under your car. <laughs> yeah. Do. That's better than nothing for now. Well, it's so not going to be a masterpiece. But your cable tied it all together. Yeah, it just stops that ball thing coming off. I'll probably just get a new one of these rods. Mm. That's not seeds though, so I don't know what they're on about with that. Which bit? This linkage. Yeah, it must be because they sprayed it. Yeah. How do you know though? Because well, it's moving. Do it? Well, I can't now because it's attached. Oh. But it wasn't seized. Oh. Right, folks, so the other issue she had is the gearbox mount. Something to do with that, but I couldn't really see. I mean, I was looking at it. Uh, the rear mount, like a rubber thing. And it looked alright to me, but again, I couldn't really get under and look at it properly, so. It's probably split, but there's not really a lot I can do about that uh, without buying a new one, obviously. So, probably just let the garage do that. She's going to go to the same ones as me. But at least that load centre thing is freed up. Um, I mean, mine's been held on with a cable tie for years now. It's not ideal, but, you know, it does the job. I've caught a tree. Yeah, I was going to tell you that, I forgot. There's no word to describe this. It doesn't take on these fancies, does it? It's got wood. It's got lots of wood. <sighs> it's fresh. The air is fresh. I do think it might snow. Just put Mborski away today so he don't follow me. <laughs> right, I'm gonna find somewhere to uh, call home for the night. Just parked up for the night. That will do. Let's have a little look at this USB thing. So it's just is it five? Yeah, five ports. Oh, it's got a little light. So you know it's on. Can't really say much about it because I've not even used it yet. But if you want to know, it's a Orico brand. Plug into. Yeah. Sweet. Much cleaner already. So now I've just got the one cable running up. Just trying to tuck that away a little bit. And that goes to that unit, which you can't even see, of course. That unit just there behind all of the shit. There's only like ten, I think, if that. I can't remember how much it was. I will link it in my store. I mean, it's only got one job, hasn't it? So I don't think I really need like a extensive long-term review on it. it. Either works or it don't. Obviously, if you were to buy one, I'd get like 2p or whatever it is, commission. Um, at no extra cost to yourself. Little point worth mentioning real quick. For anyone that's thinking about getting tinted windows, they're obviously amazing during the day night if you don't have some kind of cover on the inside it works the opposite way so you can see straight in from outside like a goldfish bowl but when you're inside you're looking out well the camera's compensating for that but there's basically zero visibility you just get a reflection so That's more accurate what I can see with my eyes now. So yeah, that's why you have the covers. So 
somebody asked me about them, actually, where did I buy them from? Uh, I'd be pretty pissed off if I'd paid money for this. <laughs> Look, it's the shit. It's just two pieces of the reflective foil sandwiched together. And then I've put duct tape around the edges just to uh, neaten it off. And that presses in. But it's just one long bit that I've tucked behind this centre bar here. And then obviously roll them up during the day. The state of this. I'm gonna go buy a new one of these tomorrow, I think. Get a red one. Splash of colour in here. Alright, let's get some flipping heat, because it is freezing right now. Words can't describe how much I love this thing. A lot of people have commented about those heat log things. Now I have used them before, they are cool. Uh, obviously they, well they're not cool, they're hot, but they are really good and they make a lot of heat. But they're bloody expensive. It's like, you know, seven or eight quid a bag and you get ten. Whereas you just go wander into the forest and find some logs. It's all about saving the pennies. When I've sort of touched on it, you know, in the past, uh, about getting a different van, like it still applies. It's nothing to do with the inside because all I want, I want this exact same van just in a higher tonnage, six or seven ton, whichever I can get for the right price. Um, but yeah, the interior, I will literally have both vans next door to each other and just transfer this entire van into the new one as is, completely as is, apart from obviously these cupboards and the wardrobe and stuff because uh, the new one's obviously taller so I can make these a bit deeper but other than that I love the interior on this van it took me a while to get it right but yeah it's perfect now now I've got rid of all now I've got rid of the bathroom and I've got the nice sofa and all of that it just works for me I love it I'll always say when you when you're like starting your van build look at other vans for inspiration for ideas in your head but don't ever copy anyone. You know, think about what you actually want and what your needs are. Think about that and then build the van around that and it'll be a lot more tailored to you personally. Because if you just copy somebody else's design, that might work for them. Like this design works for me. It might not work for everyone. You know, everyone has different needs, different things they want to carry. And the only reason this van isn't working for me is because I, I can't carry anymore. Like I said, I want to carry a motorbike in the back or on the back, whichever. You know, that, that's quite a big deal to me and that's missing at the minute and that's really annoying. Right, I need some food, I'm starving. What's on the menu tonight? I hear you ask. I know you didn't, no one really gives a sh Mushrooms, peppers, pork chops. That's about it. There we go, that's what we got. Pretty basic, but I put some barbecue sauce on the veg. Pretty damn good. On the TV, I used to have one of your matchbooks. No. I've had a lot of questions I've noticed coming in about the telly. It is in fact not a telly, it's a 27 inch computer monitor. BenQ. Um, and that's obviously running from the inverter. But that's mounted on this gas arm thing that I do have linked in the Amazon shop pretty decent put one in Marie's van as well so this just runs off the inverter it uses about one amp of power so and then for with that what I do you can't really see it but that's an Amazon fire stick so I just have that in the HDMI on the back and that then basically turns it into a smart TV and that also connects via Bluetooth to my sound system there so I've got one speaker there, and one speaker up there, and that gives me my surround sound. If I can find the exact monitor, uh, I'll put that on the Amazon store as well. Right, so yeah, that's it, I'm in bed, so I shall see you all tomorrow. Catch you in a bit.